Приходи ко мне, учиться и учиться и учиться. И учиться даже не надо, представляешь, если ты правильно живешь, даже если ты мужик. Да. Да. Ну и что теперь сделаешь ты? Да. Ну вот. Ну, наверное, ну, и чего я сидит, не собираюсь, собираюсь. Да, да, я на типа того, да. Ну ладно, понимаешь. Ничего не сделаешь, объем работы Не знаю, понимаешь. По мнению, да. Да. Не летишь, что ли? Thank you. Oh, Farid. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey.
А, вот это он имеет в виду. Что как да ко мне напивать не делает, да каждый видит свою жизнь. Нет, это ваше дело. Мне это очень интересно, то, что вы видите. Ну нет, ну даже знаешь, да? Вот и это хочешь увидеть сейчас. Нет, народ, это сейчас не нет, вот это не видит. Да просто так вот, ну да. Ну это имел в виду, да. Ну и чё, ну нет, да пошли нахер, блин, мне вообще наплевать надо. Ну и чё, ну вот и чё, чё ты хочешь, чё ты тут, да. Ой, прям, да, блин, да. Каждый критик, как говорится, да, ну и тоже покажи, понимаете. Меня это не касается, это просто худо, да, понимаешь, это долгий разговор просто. Мне все, мне по идее все это как бы надо, да. Да, не касается просто все, да. Да, понятно. Ну, да, там же стрелочка запишем. Это неплохо, потому что это идеально не. Да, ба, ба, ба. Вот это он имел в виду, да. Ну тут и есть на самом деле, это тут. Ну да, да, это круто, да, да круто.
Чё? Tak jsem byl rok postupně. Вот это и было на самом деле.
Чекаем и вы. Мы еще ближе. Не надо вот это все говорить. Не надо говорить, что по швам говорить. Зачем мне это? Не надо. Сейчас и ну и это. Вот это вам себе говорит. Вот это он не видит. Чем они все время ушел вот эту херню? Я начинаю там. Следующий дорог не идет. Что ты говоришь, ты хорошо так Вот это и есть наш
Че, нормально играют. Ты делаешь, что нет. Я не наелся по известным обстоятельствам. И вообще, ну что? Ну вот это у меня типа. Почему же это я такой? хорошая Это хорошая да? Опа, не уверен.
you've talked about some of your influences in your primary teacher. Uh, of course, you're a teacher yourself. Um, and I have a couple students here, in a way, to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Um, so maybe it won't be the most direct, uh, as they won't immediately be hearing your uh, feedback or advice, but um, through the power of uh, editing and, and <laughs> uh, communication, we'll send them their, your answers. Okay. And, uh, well, here's the first. Oh, <laughs> Louis. Here's a little. We have this entire misunderstanding of what Darwin really meant when he said survival of the fittest. No. We're going over the Andante. Even in my book, with your own two hands, I mentioned holding the bass notes on Alberti figures. Oh. And I've been criticized in, in, in the press by musicologists. When, when Mozart wants the notes held, he writes a double stem. Right, one is dichotomizer. Did there. Beethoven ever write double stems on bass notes? And Germany no, no. Germany says he held bass notes even if it didn't notate it to be held. Mm -hmm. Chopin's pupils, one after the other, the master is always holding down bass notes. <laughs> they wrote it back to be held. So, so Chopin held them down. So all of them did, and I know that Bach did well, the How same. developed was the pedal in those days? They had the knee pedal. Oh, so would that explain So it? Mozart, you definitely played with pedal. There's no question with the knee pedal. Okay. Right? How does the knee pedal work? Why did that work? There were little discs here. Oh my gosh. And the original knee pedal, one it lifted the dampers of the treble, mm -hmm. and the other lifted the dampers of the bass. So they were able to pedal the bass without the treble. Wow. With the treble without the bass. How interesting. Then there was another so one. That, that, is that how the sustain pedal came, the middle pedal came into effect? Of course. Right. 
then they had the, the right pedal now lifts all the dampers. Right, right. Then they had the left disc uh, pulled the hammers closer to the strings. It was a soft pedal. Wow. So they even Amazing. had that. Now, so look here. So they did have things. Here's the G minor quartet of Mozart. Is that the piano quartet? Yeah, I know. Bum, 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 beetle, bum. Mm. I love it. Here's a figure in the left hand. Right. Right. What do you think a cello is doing? The cello is playing in gorgeous quarter notes. Mm. He's hearing It's the fundamental bass. He's hearing everything orchestrally. Right. You think he's going to bother? He didn't even write crescendo or diminuendo many times. You think he's going to bother to put double stems? Sheer nonsense. Right. So I hear pianists and teachers teaching this. I love that one. Okay. It sounds dry. Okay. So then they try. That sounds right. It's amazing, see what that sounds right. It sounds right. Finger okay. pedaling. No pedal at all in, in this place. So you're going to do so it here too. You're going to do it here too. say with the breath, the breath of the, of the violin. But mostly from his father. I agree. Did. I agree the violin. So yeah. whether or not you detach the last note of a slur depends on what you're playing. Okay. It is now 
the real meaning of a slur, let's take a two-note slur. Right. What does a two-note slur mean? The second note is softer. Right, like a ramo. No way. The only definition that appears of a two-note slur is legato. Whether the second note is the same as the first, more than the first, less than the first, whether it's connected to the next slur or just going right. to, it depends on what you're playing right. and where it is. Of course, like Rameau, there was the French slurs of two. I was taught right? as a little boy, yeah. you get to the end of a slur, pick up your hand. Right, right. I, it's absolutely wrong. But you know you're right. See, Mark, we could see groups of two as long, you don't have to lift your hand, but you could still breathe in twos with going over to the four. In yeah, the but, twos. but not to make a gulp of air between. Oh, okay. So see, I would okay. have. Well, you wouldn't do this, would you? Obviously not. Well, Obviously. that's the end of the slur. So, so, the, the, so but it's you, resolving uh, to the. I so, do this. Change. You can do. The but you know what you did? You did a color change on the B anyway. Of course. Right, right, right. So that to me is still reflective of the notation because you're just taking that notation. But you're, I mean, you're dipping. I'm a little rich bar. Right, I agree with that. And I'm playing, okay. and it's slurred, so I'm making it rotational. Okay, agree. And not... Not pokies. No, right, I agree with that. Because a violin would do that. Sure. Yeah, of course. Now this I think of as a variation of the first... Um, I would say variation, right?
because now he's telling you that. Until he writes those words. So you can see that's why I said, oh my goodness, I discovered the secret of life. Okay, now play it the way you're going to interpret the, the rhyme in question with the flares of four back there in that phrase. Let's I'm hear it now. This. Excuse me, but I'm going to use my foot. Okay. Новые слова всегда под рукой. Просто установи иконку Google Словарь на свой мобильный. What I'm going to tell you. 
see the wedges? Mm -hmm. With those little, yeah, because everyone wants to know the difference between portata marks, those kind of marks, and accent marks. Because we don't see the real accent marks in Mozart, no, do we? No, this is not an accent. What is that? Or portata. Neither. Not, right. Neither. Right. The, uh, this is a form of staccato. Okay. And this is a form of staccato. The dots. Yeah, you have the dots, and then you have those pointy-looking <coughs> lines. Yeah, the wedges right, are the wedges. those pointy-looking lines. Right. Um, a lot of piano teachers discuss amongst each other what, how to execute a portato versus that kind of marking versus an accent kind of marking. No, but it's not portato. No, portamento. The portamento, like from the string portato. play. Portato. Portato, right. Portato is the, the slur and the dot. Yeah. Uh, that, that's always before. What about the horizontal line? Over the no, those are tenuto signs. Tenuto. Here, see these dots? Yeah. Okay. Now, now we're going to go to Vidura Skoda. book, his interpretation of Mozart right. that he wrote with his wife, she was oh, a musicologist. Oh. Eva Vidura Skoda. I know. And he has a whole mm. chapter on wedges. Mm. He says, you see, if you look in the dictionary, it says that the wedge is a sharper, shorter staccato right. than that. That's what I would think. So Bedouris go to say, oh yeah? Well then, what is a wedge doing on a string part in the Jupiter Symphony on a tied whole note? So, so he, sa he says, in that case, a violinist would go like this. Right, that's what we would do. Right, you get a little cut on the okay. string. And then by the time you get to the end of the chapter, you have no idea what a wedge means. Hmm. He never tells us. I don't think he knows himself. Hmm. What is the difference between these mm -hmm. and these? Mm, one with just plain dots. Yeah, so one day I had enough of this dilemma. And I started with Mozart Sonata Number One, and I just put myself in neutral. Are you talking about the famous C major sonata? Right? No, the first one. Which one is that? The very first. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, other C major. Okay, yeah. So I started to read through, and I just wanted to see what I would instinctively do when I saw yeah. these signs. Yeah. So I concluded the following. Mozart was a master pianist, a keyboard virtuoso. He left practically nothing, right, in his right. music? Right. He wrote down choreographic signs. And I discovered that whenever I saw the wedge, I went like this. See this? Yeah, the wedge. <laughs> Yeah, you can arm and when I saw the dots, when I saw the dots, I went like this. Shorter. Just light. Yeah, shorter. Light fingers. Right. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Instead of... Right, those are the wedges. Instead of my arm. So I decided that he actually wrote really out these choreographic gestures. The wedges mean more arm pressure, and the stats are lighter finger staccato. Mm. But what about if he had the tenuto marks? Tenuto sign means, see, one day I looked it up in the dictionary, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it tenuto have these choreographic... So I decided that he actually wrote out these choreographic gestures. The wedges mean more arm pressure, and the stats are lighter finger staccato. Mm. But what about if he had the tenuto marks? Tenuto sign means, see, one day I looked it up in the dictionary, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a tenuto sign has three meanings. Hold the note for its full value, Hold the note beyond its full value right. or accent. Right, three possibilities. Mm -hmm.
So it's usually a composer puts a tenuto sign when he wants you to emphasize the note by holding it for his full Hi everyone, I am Ching Yun. I am the artistic director of Gold Upper Young Pianist Academy and we are so happy to see all of you today. We have with us a very, very special guest and someone very dear to my heart and that is Seymour Bernstein. And Seymour is known for his um, wonderful books, wonderful music and recording and, and for me he is such a special mentor. He helped me at a stage of my life when I didn't know what to do. And you know, he really helped me through. He taught me how to pay it forward, how to help the next generation, so young pianists. And I must say that young, uh, Fold Up a Young Pianist Academy carries that theme and that I have uh, Seymour to thank for. And so um, for our classical encounter series, uh, we decided to have Seymour debuted uh, the, the very first interview, and I cannot think of a better person for that. So here is Seymour. Thank you, Ching Yun. I remember so distinctly our first meeting together. Yes. Of course, like everyone else, I was overwhelmed with your talent. But not only with your talent, but with you as a person. You know, our, you know what one of our goals in life is as being a musician? Yes. We have to make the musician and the person one and the same. Yeah. So that the, music, the musician is not separated from their personal life. Mm -hmm. So we're going to discuss a lot about that. Yes. Timo, I have many questions for you. I know the audience members will have more questions for you. So, you I have always with you. Like, you know, like, 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 like,